Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a quick get ready with me video. I'm just going to do something very, very light, not dramatic or anything like that. I'm using the Full Exposure Palette. So as you know, these shades are very, very neutral. I'm going to use some of the darker brown tones and maybe a few of the glitters for my lid, but this is a very neutral look. And I'm actually very excited to be using these two um, products. These are the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. I got the matte lipstick and I got the buttercream lip gloss. So in the buttercream lip gloss, I got the shade Sugar. And in the matte, I got the shade XYZ. They have so many beautiful shades. I just didn't know which one to pick. And of course, I wanted to try them out first to see if I really like them. Um, I did select them in the store. The colors are so gorgeous and I just wanted to take one with me. So I did pick up XYZ. And let me just tell you, if you love chocolate, you're going to love the smell of this. It smells like Cocoa Puffs. I love Cocoa Puffs. But it smells like a chocolate cake. It's amazing. Like, I just want to eat it. I'm so mad that it smells like chocolate because I just really want to just taste it because it smells so good. But I am going to do a look and I'm going to do both of these lip colors just so you guys can see what it looks like. I'll do the gloss first. That way I can wipe it off easier and then I'll do the matte shade after so you guys can see how both colors look. So if you want to see how I get ready today, just keep on watching. I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige and I'm just blending it out. This is going to be kind of like my eye primer. You can use a concealer, it's just to block out any redness on your eyes. And then I'm setting it with this Airspun Translucent Powder so the shadow could blend a lot easier. Now I'm taking this Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray and I'm spraying it all over my face. I've been working out like crazy, it's insane, but I'm going to just take this Sephora Bright Future Concealer in the shade number 10. I cannot find my green color corrector, but this concealer is really good so it will block out any redness that I may have. Now I'm taking these two matte shades here and I'm taking my Morphe bunny brush and I'm just going to blend this onto my crease. Now with this darker brown shade I'm taking the same brush and I'm just going to Deepen up my crease on the outer corner and then blending it onto my crease. And then I'm going to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines. So with my primer spray, I'm going to spray this Sigma brush. I put the name down below. And I'm taking this glittery shade from the Smashbox palette. And I'm just patting it onto my lid. It takes a while for the color to actually show. I like to pat it on and then I'll use my fingers to pat the glitter on some more. Now with these shadows that have glitter, they have a lot of fallout, so I'm taking a makeup wipe, I think it's by Target, and I'm just gently removing any excess shadow. Then with my Anastasia brow powder, I am in the color Ebony, I'm taking this angled brush, and I'm just going to fill in my brows. So with my Maybelline Master Conceal, I'm just taking this concealer and applying it right underneath my eyebrows. I haven't tweaked them in like a week, but you can even tell with this concealer, I'm going to apply two layers. So I'll apply it first and then I'll blend and then I'll apply it again and blend some more and then it just looks super flawless and clean.
For foundation, I'm taking my NARS Sheer Glow foundation in the shade Barcelona. And I'm taking this Morphe brush. I like to pat the foundation onto my skin. This foundation has been everything for me because it does not clog your pores. And my pores are so sensitive, anything can clog them up. So now I'm just taking this sponge and I'm just making sure that everything is nice and blended. That I don't have any streaks or anything like that. And I love how the sponge makes your foundation look. It just doesn't look cakey. Everything looks natural and everything is blended. So I'm taking my Bright Future Sephora Concealer in 09. I actually just bought this today. Um, I used to use the color 08, but it's a little too light for me. And earlier in the video, I used the shade 10, which is like my skin color. So I decided to go with 09 and it matches my under eye area perfectly. I feel like it's perfect to conceal and to highlight as well. So I'm just applying a few dots of this underneath my eyes, forehead, nose, and chin as well, and then I'm just blending it out. Now with my Air Sponge Translucent Powder and my sponge, I'm just going to set my concealer. Now to bronze up my face, I'm taking this NYC bronzer and my Morphe Angled Brush, and I'm going to kind of contour and bronze up my face a little bit. I'm not even going to add blush. This will be my blush for today. Um, so I'm just applying that underneath my cheekbones, blending it out, and then I'm going to apply it to the temples of my forehead. So with this Real Techniques brush, I'm just going to dust away any excess powder. And then I'm going back with my blending brush by Morphe, just touching it up. I'm just doing touch-ups right now. Now I'm taking this pearl color in the palette and I'm just applying it to the inner corners. Yes! Time to highlight this face. I'm taking my Anastasia So Hollywood highlight with the Anastasia number 23 brush. Um, I actually saw it at Macy's if you guys are wondering where to get it at. You can order it online or check Macy's out. I saw it and I was obsessed with it. I had to get one. So here's the fun part. I'm taking the Bare Minerals Gloss in Sugar. I just wanted you guys to see how it looked with a gloss. I am obsessed with this gloss. I'm gonna rock it like every single day, honestly. Now I'm taking the matte lip color in XYZ. I'm obsessed with this color as well. It's such a pretty nude shade. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.